Tim Cruz, Cruise Reviews. Everybody asks me, when you go to Key West, what can you see? Especially if you're on a cruise, you don't have a whole lot of time, maybe you only got a couple of hours. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you wanna see if you have a short trip to Key West. <laughs> There's some of the best stores in the world, some of the best t-shirts. So basically you're gonna make a loop, it's about four miles, you can walk it. If you don't want to, you can rent a scooter, but if you don't have time to do that, it's plenty. It's a great walk, it's good exercise. First thing you're gonna do is watch out for those cocks. It's probably the only place in the world where you can hit a cock on a golf cart, okay? So you're gonna start on Duval Street and you're gonna head south. And this is where the main, this is really the main drag of Key West. And again, good looking cocks everywhere. It's amazing how many good looking cocks you will see on Duval Street. And when you're done with them, if you do happen to hit one, you can eat their feet. Here's Sloppy Joe's, one of the first stops on the left hand side. Now it starts getting going probably about 10, 30, 11 a.m. depending if there's a cruise in port. Oh, yeah and they're starting to come back to Key West. <laughs> and you will see people, I mean, the place will be packed. It'll be hard to find a place and order the Sloppy Joes. It is the trademark dish. They are delish. And you will see live music, people up and singing. Nobody's really paying attention to this guy. He's kind of angry, but uh, it is what it is. You know, as an entertainer, I get it. Now, technically, you're not supposed to carry an open beverage like a beer or a drink onto Duval Street, but everybody does it. So, you know, just be aware of the law. Here's the Hard Rock. Margaritaville is down there too. This is the whistle bar and the bull on the corner. Now you gotta be careful where you go because there are some nude bars, including the roof of this particular place is clothing optional. So, and you don't wanna see the people, believe me, you don't wanna see these nudes. Here is a place called Willie T's where everybody writes their name on dollar bills and staples them to the wall. A guy told me there's like over a million dollars in dollar bills there. They have a security guard at night. The uh, Rainbow Crosswalk where you can do your Beatles thing. And at the end of Duval Street, a great place to check out called the Key West Butterfly Conservatory. Um, believe me, this is like one of my favorite places in the world. It's like the ultimate relaxation zen place. You're gonna see tons of butterflies, adorable little birds, and you really have a, a chance, if you're a photographer especially, to work out those camera skills. And I'm shooting all this with an iPhone and it's coming out amazing. Look at the colors on this thing, amazing. And, if you're lucky, no, it's supposed to be good like luck that. if they land on your head, and even better luck if they poop. You will see a couple of flamingos, which are apparently always horny and mating. I don't know what the deal is, but they're always mating. I've never seen a sign saying they're not mating. And uh, they didn't like this guy. They're like yelling at him. But look how beautiful this place is. And if you can catch them in just the right, they're doing all kinds of weird tricks for you here. I mean, they're just weird, okay? But if you catch them in the right position, you can get the heart picture. And this is the million dollar picture yeah. right here. And oh, these weird birds too, they were trying to eat the butterfly. Look at them, bad bird. All right, so that's the butterfly conservatory. Uh, it's about 10, 13 bucks a person again and worth it. Here's a pier at the end of Duval. And then you're gonna turn the corner and go right, and you're gonna head to the southernmost point and do the photo op. Uh, there's no photographers here, but usually the people who are behind you will take your picture, which is kind of cool. And they took that in portrait mode, which is really dumb. Now, I hate to burst your bubble. It's not technically the southernmost point. It's actually on the military base, which you need a military ID to get in. And it doesn't have that big marker there. It's not as fun and not much of a photo op, but it's a little further to the west and south there. Now, technically, the southernmost point in the incorporated United States is on the big island of Hawaii. But... Uh, we're not there. We're talking about Key West, but it's not. And take the picture. It's fun anyway. Now, when you go down Whitehead Street, you're going to find the Hemingway House. Big tourist spot. If you're into him as an author, 17 bucks for adults to get in. They only take cash. Don't take plastic, which is weird. There's a ton of cats there. So you're going to find some retired dude who's going to walk you through and talk about all the history and all the weird. He was a, Hemingway was a really weird dude. So they talked about some of his stuff there. He also lived in the Bahamas and had places all over the place too. And writers used to make a lot of money. <clears throat> I'm a writer too. So uh, it's interesting. It's, it's a one-time thing. You don't want to do it more than once because it gets boring after that. Now, what's even more cool is the lighthouse across the street because look at the view. If you can climb the 200, 300 some steps, amazing. Now, at the end of Route 1, here is the world famous Mile Zero mile marker. Now, if you're an optimist, you'll go to begin. If you're a pessimist, you'll be at the end. Take both pictures. They're definitely worthwhile and a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of other fun things you can see, including drag shows a little bit later in the day, not typically in the morning. And if you have a little bit more time, you can venture out a little further and see some of the beaches. Now, there's rocky beaches. There's a little sand beach there, too. Um, you have to pay to get in, I believe, 
in the Fort Zachary installation there. So it will cost you a couple of bucks to get in. It's a worthwhile tour as well. But uh, these are beautiful places just to chill out. A lot of people fish down here. A lot of tourists just kind of hang out. Uh, this is the sandy beach there. Probably the only one there. And it's got a lot of seaweed. It's not a great beach if you're a beach person. Key West isn't really for that. Or you could take a snorkeling tour. Great snorkeling. Now, if you're there at sunset, every night at sunset at Mallory Square, it's like a big circus. There's all these performers. They're free to watch. There's no admission here. You have jugglers. You have people doing all kinds of tight roping. And this guy is just chucking knives around, which looks incredibly dangerous. Uh, keep your distance away. He rides a unicycle, too. It's bizarre. I mean, there's some serious talent there, and it's a lot of fun to hang out. You will find people there with pet tricks, or this dog doing all kinds of cool stuff. Now, this was taken, uh, this, was taken this video was about a year ago because our cruise wasn't there until sunset. We left at, uh, I think, 4 o'clock, so we didn't get to see this. But if you're down there that late, there are a lot of really cool shows at Mallory Square. And this is right by the, the cruise port, too, so you'll find this right where you come in there. At the end, uh, or the beginning of Duval Street and the end of Whitehead Street. So it's a real neat place to hang out. And um, there's bars, there's drinks there, there's lots to do, tons of restaurants. And they will try, they're supported by tips, so they'll do cute things to try to get tips out of you, including sending the dog around to collect, which is actually a brilliant idea. And he has a, like a pants on, I'm not sure what's going on there. But it's a great show. Uh, these guys work really hard to put these shows together, so spend a few bucks if you can to support them so they keep coming back. Um, and of course, there's the world famous Catman. I don't know if he's still there too. We weren't there at sunset, but catch the sunset. It is amazing. One of the most beautiful places on earth to witness a sunset is in Key West, Florida. And uh, they're beautiful. You can sit there at the second floor in a bar. There's a hotel there. It's really nice. And you can definitely do this and have a big time in Key West, even if you're just here for a couple of hours. So, yeah, Key West in a couple of hours. This is basically what you want to see. Now, of course, if you're here for a couple of days, there's a lot more things to see. There are museums, there's hotels, there's awesome bed and breakfast, and a lot of historical sites to see. So definitely do that. And I take the, uh, a whole bunch of tours. Take the organized tours, too. This way you'll see everything. And, oh, take the ghost tours, too. I'm Tim Cruz, Cruz Reviews. I'm not leaving my wingman. My long-lost cousin, Tim Cruz, is the ultimate reviewer. Woo! Please watch Cruise Reviews with Tim Cruise. Now, Tim feels the need. The need for speed! <laughs> well, not so much speed. We're on a cruise, but he completes me. Cruise Reviews. There is no substitute.